Hi, my name is Alex Shenshin, and this video is a part of a graduation project in Hack Your Future. I will talk about the MVC architecture. Here on the screen, you can see the diagram of uh, an MVC. MVC is a programming paradigm created in late 70s in order to structure programming code to make it more readable, maintainable, and extendable. In these decades, MVC proved its efficiency in different platforms and programming languages. The guiding light of model view controller is separating presentation from domain. Why is that important to do? Our application's domain is where we model our perception of the problem and its solution. By making this code separate, without reference to any UI. It could be modeled more correctly, tested more deeply, and presented more numerously. MVC concept allows to separate the domain or model, data representation or view, and user event handling or controller to separate them from each other into three different components. The model contains information about the internal data structure of the system, as well as possibly methods of processing this data. It reacts to requests by changing its state. It does not contain information on how this data can be visualized. View is a user interface for displaying the contents of the system state and for entering information from the user. View components do not know anything about what they will display and how the information received from the user will be processed. A controller is created to implement the relationship between the first two. The controller provides communication between the user and the system. It controls user input and uses the model and view to implement the required response. MVC was originally an object-oriented programming paradigm. Since we are learning React, I'd like to show an example of MVC implementation in React application. Even though React is currently a functional uh, programming library, I'll show that MVC is a universal approach and can be successfully applied here as well. In React, we can use any tool that allows us to store application data in one specific place. It can be as simple as one or more state variables as well as the Redux state or the context API. As an example, I wrote a very small application showing the stopwatch. This is what uh, it looks like. Under the hood, it is made uh, using MVC approach. This is how it works. So I press the start button and the timer begins running. So I, I suppose it stops and then I can reset it and then I can start over again. And this is the React code of the stopwatch application. The controller part of this application is inside the component called uh, time controller. Here it is. Let's go inside time controller. Um, the stopwatch model consists of an internal time representation and the representation of an interval being set by the set interval function. Here. The model knows nothing about neither the controller nor the view. The controller is represented by three methods being called by clicking the corresponding buttons 
in the view component. These methods operate on intervals and trigger uh, changes within the model. Uh, the controller uh, component returns the view component uh, here and passes and passes it the necessary props uh, from the model and the controller. By passing props, the controller connects all three parts of MVC with each other. Okay, and now look, let's look at the uh, view uh, component. The stopwatch uh, view consists of the digits representing the internal date and uh, stopwatch control buttons. So here are uh, the digits in H1 tag and uh, these are the buttons. Clicking on the buttons triggers the corresponding uh, controller methods, resulting in uh, corresponding changes within the model. Changes in the model, in turn, thanks to React, uh, lead to a re-rendering of the view component, which is uh, accompanied by changing numbers on the screen. Finally, I want to demonstrate how flexible and scalable this approach is. Let's say I want to add a millisecond uh, display uh, to my timer. To do this, I don't have to change even a single line of code in the model in, and uh, the controller. It is enough to pass uh, a new prop to the view and it will automatically uh, begin to be displayed in the browser window. I pass uh, another prop with milliseconds and then inside timer view component I add new milliseconds digits to the existing minutes and seconds digit. And now it shows milliseconds.